I'll be presenting at the MAAUA a project titled, uh, Does Tumor Volume Assess by Cumulative Cancer Location or CCLO Predict Outcomes on Active Surveillance in the MRI Era? Uh, the rationale for doing this project was to essentially rethink the way that we measure tumor volume on prostate biopsy. Um, so some of the traditional measures, such as the maximum percentage of cancer in a core or the number of positive cores, have some drawbacks and pitfalls. And so we sought to uh, take a different approach to measuring tumor volume. There was a group a few years ago uh, out of Finland, uh, Ericsson et al., who published a study uh, developing this idea of looking at the cumulative location of cancer in a prostate biopsy. Uh, we took that score, which essentially calculates the number of unique sextants involved on a prostate biopsy biopsy with cancer and validated it in our own active surveillance cohort of close to 1,300 patients. Uh, we also developed a novel adaptation of this score by adding in a component of MRI data from each patient's prostate MRI. Uh, we were able to find that uh, in our cohort, uh, the CCLO score as originally uh, developed uh, was able to predict both upgrading on subsequent biopsy as well as to predict the, the likelihood of receiving definitive treatment. Um, our novel MRI-informed CCLO score, um, which takes into account the locations positive for cancer on prostate biopsy, as well as the patient's MRI, was also able to predict these outcomes in a more contemporary cohort of close to 350 patients. And the implications of this study is that uh, we essentially are developing a way for clinicians to, by a, a very shorthand notation, uh, counsel patients on their likelihood of receiving treatment while they're on active surveillance or the likelihood of uh, them upgrading to a higher disease state while on active surveillance. And we find this will be um, an easy way for people to use, uh, for people to do this in the clinic um, and be able to counsel their patients in that way.